My favorite thing is the community. I only come to Greenwich House. It's my own life. There's a very special feeling being here. When I come here, I'm always looking forward to it. Located in the heart of Manhattan's West Village, Greenwich House Pottery has been a renowned center in the world of ceramic arts since its founding 100 years ago. The pottery, as it is affectionately known, is part of Greenwich House, a nonprofit community organization dedicated to helping individuals and families lead more fulfilling lives by offering social and health services, cultural and educational programs, and opportunities for civic involvement. Each year, Greenwich House serves nearly 10,000 New Yorkers of all ages and backgrounds. In September 2009, Greenwich House Pottery will kick off its centennial year celebrations. This anniversary will bring together an extended family of artists and friends to celebrate the past, the present, and the future of this vibrant New York studio. The way that Greenwich House Pottery opens doors for people is really precious and rare. Side by side, you have people who are pursuing professional goals in ceramics and people who are here purely for the fun and joy of working with clay, and other people for whom the community is really key. I have never found a community that is so supportive, loving. In, in the art world, you don't have that. Clay has had such a long relationship with human culture because it goes back so many tens of thousands of years, basically. And I think clay and fiber are probably closest to us than almost any other mediums. We live in a world where we sit for most of our hours in front of a computer screen. And the whole making phenomenon, the activity that engages the hand as well as the mind, is absolutely appropriate for our time. I've been working as an art director for about the last 10 years, mainly doing things with computers. And I had really started to miss doing things with my hands. With ceramics, there's so many different things to learn about, so many different stages in the process. Greenwich House Pottery is the product of two very important social and artistic trends in America at the turn of the century, the Settlement House Movement and the Arts and Crafts Movement. Both emerged in Great Britain in the mid-19th century. Settlement houses were established to serve the needs of the urban poor in England, and the Arts and Crafts Movement was part of an effort to improve society by improving artistic, architectural, interior, and object design. The Arts and Crafts Movement was not just about appearances, it was about creating and using objects, and how those practices fit into the larger context of labor and society. When products are made in a factory, each worker contributes only a small part to a larger whole. Critics argued that workers were denied the satisfaction of creation because they could never call a single object their own. Artisans working in the arts and crafts tradition made an entire object from start to finish, both envisioning the object as a designer and crafting the piece at each step of its creation. I've always liked clay because you can do so many things with it, like sculpting and doing abstract things and literal things. I want to be an artist because I just think that it's a good way to express yourself. This is my second year at Greenwich House Pottery, a great clay school. I love clay. I make a lot of clay pieces and I have a lot of fun with it. In America, at the turn of the century, social reformers established organizations modeled on the British settlement houses to improve the lives of the urban poor. Greenwich House was founded by Mary Kingsbury Simkovich in 1902. Greenwich House Pottery was founded as a program of the Greenwich House Handicrafts School in 1909. Immigrant women were already making handmade lace and other crafts at home to earn money. At the same time, American educators and social reformers understood the benefits of art instruction and forging community. So, the Handicraft School was established to help new immigrants learn skills to support themselves financially and to foster bonds between neighbors through creating works of art. Mary Kingsbury Simkovich, the founder of Greenwich House, believed strongly that once a person had a stake in their neighborhood, he or she would more likely become an engaged citizen. The pottery was immediately popular with children and adults back then, and continues to thrive today. With each decade and shift in the neighborhood and in American ceramics, the pottery adapted in order to survive. My name is Susanna Taishu. This past spring, I co-curated a show in Greenwich House Pottery's storefront titled Eat, Clay, or Die. The whole premise of the show was to make conceptual works that were hidden within sweets. 
It was a terrific community building event to get out the word about the pottery. The opening night, we had more people than we'd ever imagined would come. One of the original patrons of Greenwich House Pottery was Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. She helped secure several lucrative commissions to support the program. The leadership of Jane Hartsook spanned four decades, attracting new, talented ceramic artists and helping to gain exposure for them and the pottery. The exhibitions in the Jane Hartsook Gallery showcase all types of ceramic art year-round, a rarity in New York City. Greenwich House Pottery serves an incredibly diverse array of people, and that reflects the mission of Greenwich House Inc., which for over 100 years has provided social services, healthcare, arts, and education opportunities for New Yorkers from all over the city. Greenwich House has served such an incredible array of audiences over its many, many years of existence. I think it's become one of those touch points in the cultural life of New York. I think the future of ceramics looks pretty bright. It's always been about forging community since our founding. That's what we've done for the past hundred years and that's what we'll continue to do for the next hundred years. It's full of amazing people. That's the bottom line. For me, Greenwich House has been everything. I can't imagine finding that in any other place. Where else can you imagine a greater place in Greenwich Village? Greenwich House is not just a historical phenomenon. It's a living institution. It will last forever. We love play! Greenwich House Pottery has a rich history and a bright future. At 100 years old, its story is still unfolding.